Hello everyone, let's look at the new features that Microsoft is rolling out on Windows 11 build 27.965 and 27.959 in the Canary channel. It is important to note that these are not exactly new features because we have already seen them in the other channels, but they're new to the Canary channel. So let's get into it. Now, in this release, Microsoft is finally bringing the new start menu design to the Canary channel. And we have seen this design before and it should also roll out to all users in the near future. And basically this new layout combines the all menu with a pen and recommended sections into a single view. You can also change the view for the all section and you can show all or some of your pin applications. Because of this new star menu layout, the company has also updated the start settings page, which actually removes the layout setting. And now these are all the options that you're going to see on the start menu. Also starting with build 27.965, the company is including the edit command line tool that allows you to edit and create text files using command prompt. So if you're in command prompt, you can just type edit. And from here, you can create a text file. It also has support for mouse. So you can open a file, save, and you can create a new file as well. You have all these options and you have these options to customize the view. Now, if we go to the settings app, more specifically to system notifications, if we scroll down, you can see that now we have this new position of on-screen indicators. So basically you can now change where the hardware indicators such as for brightness, volume, airplane mode, and others will appear on the screen. So for example, right now it's set to bottom center. So if I change the volume on this computer, you can see that the indicator shows up at the bottom. But if I change it to top center, you're going to see that the indicator now shows up at the top. So it doesn't appear in my installation, but if you try to share a file, the share interface will now let you pin applications for quicker access. And finally, Microsoft is updating the keyboard shortcuts to help you enter symbols for M dash and M dash more easily. So for example, you can now use the Windows key and the minus key to enter an N dash. And you can also use the Windows key plus shift plus minus to enter an M dash. As per usual, these preview builds include different changes and fixes. So check the video in the description to learn more details about these previews. And the result there's to it. Those were the most significant changes that Microsoft have been adding in the Canary channel with Windows 11, build 26.965 and 27.959. Let me know in the comments what you think about these changes. Like the video, share it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.